guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for hanging out today. Um, I'm excited to be back today to be doing a new book review in the Bridgerton series. Um, this is super popular right now. It's all over the place. Um, I watched season one. I think I talked about this in the Duke and I um, book review. But anyway, I watched season one, started watching season two, literally couldn't get through it because I feel like the show did not do the characters justice at all. Um, they actually changed characters, main characters, and I was not really very happy about that. Um, and it just made me sad and, and I just didn't find them to be as likable as the characters in the book. Um, a lot of people love the show and I am happy for you. <laughs> and if you have just only watched the show and not read the books, I'm sure you would probably love the show. Um, I know I did whenever I first watched the first season. I fell in love with it so much that I went to read the books and then I was like, wow, these books are amazing. And now I'm so hung up on the books that I can't watch the show. I've kind of ruined it for myself. Um, that being said though, I do want to get into these book reviews for you and I'm excited to review all of the books in this series for you. I have read them all at this point. They were really good um they all have their own individual ratings that i've given them they're not all five stars for me so that makes things like kind of a little bit different um this one i happen to give five stars this one's called the viscount who left me um i love the red color my actually my favorite color is red so i love this cover <laughs> um i like how they all have a different color for each cover and they're all like really pretty and really intricately um designed so let me hold this up for you a little bit so you can see the whole thing um but i really loved it i also love how all of these books are so so tiny and just like really handheld <laughs> let me hold it well not drop it <laughs> um but keep in mind that they, since they are so tiny, it does make for the words to be really tiny. Um, that was one thing I wasn't like 100% thrilled with was that the words were really small in all of these books. Um, but I believe they make them in a large print version. So if you're interested in that, I would look for those. Um, but anyway, let's get on with the review. This one was five stars. They are, um, Kate and Anthony are probably one of my favorite couples. I also really liked Kate's sister, Edwina. Um, yeah, they were fun characters to, to listen to and watch and everything. Um, I liked Anthony enough, well enough, I guess. Um, I think I like Daphne a bit better, better than Anthony. Um, but Anthony was cool and he had his own um, issues and he had his own like kind of backstory in this book as well that we uncover. Um, and Kate had a pretty good backstory as well and just like the bantering between the two of them throughout the whole book was really fun and cute to watch the whole um, the whole book and he's actually um, was originally supposed to be marrying her sister but then kind of falls in love with her which um, if that was a spoiler I'm sorry I, I don't really feel like it is because like the show is out there and this is everywhere right now um, but yeah, that, I guess that's all I should say, um, about Anthony is, is what I just said and kind of keep the rest as like a, a surprise for you. Um, but it reveals a lot about both of their pasts and there's a lot that comes into play in this book. Um, we see Daphne again in this book. We see Simon again in this book. We see all the other siblings. Um, we see their mom, Violet, who I love very much. Um, and there's just a lot of interesting and fun characters in this book and, it ties in with book one and then it also ties in with all the other books in the whole series. Um, I really love how this author, Julia Quinn, um, she just pulls everyone's stories together so nicely and so smoothly and she takes all these characters and she stays on top of them and she gives them each like unique and cool backstories and she gives them all like cool ways that they all tie in together and um, I mean, she involves everyone in all the different books and they just tie so well and it's so cute to see like your favorite, I mean, if you do have a favorite, your favorite one pop up in other books and you're like, oh, there they are again, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, so I really like that too and um, I like her writing style a lot too. I like that it's like set way back in the 1800s. Um, I've actually kind of learned a lot about living in the 1800s just by reading these books. Um, there, uh, is a bit too much romance in these for me. I think I explained that on the first video. 
However, um, if you are going to read a romance series, I would definitely read this one. Um, I'm also not really a person that really likes to read the like 1800 type of, type of books. Usually when I see that on like the back of a book, I'll immediately put it down and I just won't even like give it a chance. Um, but since this was put on Netflix, I actually really liked it um, on there and it, and it made me interested in, in wanting to read the books. So um, that was something that kind of was cool that came out of Netflix for me. I love Anthony and Kate together. They're so cute. Um, I love Kate's relationship with her sister and her mother um, and her dog. She has a cute dog too. He's a corgi. Um, that was sweet. I like that they that they put a dog in the book because you wouldn't normally like think one of these these esteemed ladies with all these beautiful dresses would have this corgi dog that comes along with her everywhere, but he does and it's adorable. <laughs> um, I also really love the dog, so yeah, got me there. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about this book without giving too much away um, about it. So I'm gonna set that down and definitely look out for my next reviews in this series. Um, they are gonna be posted every single Monday. I know I have a weekly video on Friday, but I'm also going to have a weekly video on Monday for the Bridgerton series until I get done reviewing this whole series. So you can look forward to that as well. I'm actually kind of excited about that because um, this was a long series to read. There were a lot of books in this series um, and I, I did it. I did not read all these in 2022, which I kind of regret. <laughs> um, some of these I read in 2021 and I think I read about two or three of them in 2022. So um, they won't be part of my 2022 reading challenge, but that's okay. I'm going to review them anyway for you because it's a whole series. And um, I see a lot of people saying like they really want to read the books, but they haven't and they're just going to watch the Netflix show. So instead, I kind of wanted to break it, break it down a little bit for you and give you a little bit about each book and like what my favorite things kind of were and um, just talk about it a little bit. So I hope you liked this review and there will be a lot more of these videos coming out soon, um, like I said, every week. But if you'd like to see more content from me in the meantime, I post every single day on my Instagram and I would love to see you over there. Um, and I post a weekly video here every single Friday and now I'll be posting a weekly video here every single Monday for the Bridgerton series, so make sure you come back for that. Um, please turn on your notification bell and subscribe so that you will not miss any of those great review videos that I have coming out very soon. Um, and if you wouldn't mind giving this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and you liked hanging out with me, and definitely comment below and let me know which Bridgerton book was your favorite, and um, if you read The Viscount Who Loved Me, um, what you thought of it. Okay, so I will... Talk to you next time and I'll see you then. Bye.